Well, hi there. If you've ever been told that snakes unhinge their jaws, somebody lied to you. I want you to imagine for a moment that it is Thanksgiving. And for those of you who are not from the United States or Canada, I don't know where all other people celebrate Thanksgiving, but at Thanksgiving, we tend to eat a turkey. So I want you to play a game, which is you have to swallow a turkey whole. Would the first thing that you do be to unhinge your jaw? Okay, you just agree that that would do nothing but ruin your jaw. Because your problem really isn't space back here, it's space up here. And snakes somehow manage to swallow giant prey items whole. For example, anacondas eat black caiman, which are huge crocodilians. African rock python eat impala, which are large antelope. Burmese pythons in the Florida Everglades have been found to have eaten deer and even alligators. Even in the situation where the alligator burst out of the side of a Burmese python, because Burmese pythons do not know how to kill alligators very well, it had swallowed the freaking alligator. And they swallow all of these things whole without using any arms. How is this possible? Let's take just a minute to watch a snake eat, and then we'll discuss how it happened. We may speed it up just a little bit to make what's going on a little bit more clear. We already discussed that snakes don't unhinge their jaws, but their jaws are seriously rad. For starters, and this is really important, snakes don't have a chin, in that these two bones at the front of their jaw, they don't fuse one to the other. Instead, what they have are some stretchy, stretchy ligaments that connect them, but can open up very, very wide. This is important. I need you for a moment to imagine that I am the head of a lizard. Okay, are you with me? So this is the top jaw. This is the bottom jaw. Are you with me? If I'm a lizard, I can swallow anything I can fit through this space here. But because snakes don't have a chin, these two bones are independent, held together only by stretchy, stretchy ligaments, it allows them to swallow not only what will fit through here, but more like what will fit through there. This allows them to open their mouth really wide at the front, which is a big deal, and it also allows their jaw bones to move independently of one another. This will become really important here in a moment. They've also got more of these stretchy ligaments. Their skull is what's called a kinetic skull. It's really, really flexible, and they've got more of them, so not just here, but back here and here also. So instead of what can I fit through you know, this spot or even this spot, it's like, what can I fit through there? And you can see this happening with this snake as it eats, and it's amazing. Additionally, their top jaw, like where their teeth are held, those are not actually fused to the rest of their skull either. I said it was a kinetic skull, which means it's a skull that can move, and it can move all over the place. And this allows the rows of teeth on the top jaw to also walk forward independently. All of this movement in the skull, the bottom jaw is moving independently, the top jaw is moving independently, it allows them to walk one side at a time, up over prey, and draw it into their mouth. Top jaw and bottom jaw. And you can see this happening, it's incredible. Additionally, 
Snakes have a ton of ribs. A lot of people don't know this about snakes, but snakes have very short tails and very, very long bodies. And all down that long body, they've got ribs, but the ribs don't fuse in the front. They don't have a sternum. And this allows the ribs to spread wide open, which means that once they get that big prey item past their head, their whole body can expand to accommodate it. We've already talked about this a little bit, but now let's compare this to the way that a lizard eats when it eats. Their jaws function much more traditionally. Their skull is nowhere near as kinetic and flexible, which means they've got better jaw pressure. You can see these lizards can bite down and crush things. They can even tear pieces off of, of prey items. They often do swallow things whole, but only smaller things because they can't do this or this. Now let's watch that snake eat again. Did you notice the difference? Snake jaws work very well on any animal that tapers nicely, which means if it starts at a point and gradually gets bigger, these work phenomenally well. However, anybody who's ever given birth knows that humans do not taper nice. We kind of start blunt, and if you get past that, we get even blunter. It's the worst. Some of the biggest snakes in the world, like reticulated pythons, Burmese pythons, African rock pythons, green anacondas, they are plenty big enough to kill a person via constriction. However, they are hard pressed to ever actually swallow a person, though it has happened. Generally speaking, for a snake to be able to swallow you, you either need to be a narrow shouldered conehead or they need to swallow you feet first and get both of your feet in their mouth at the same time. Otherwise, it's almost impossible for a snake, even these giant snakes, to successfully swallow goofy-shaped people. And now you know. I would like to take just a moment to pause from this video about how snakes feed to thank the people who help put food on our tables, and that is our patrons at Patreon. We appreciate you guys so much, and you are allowing us to live this dream and bring you content like this. So thank you, thank you, thank you. What else would you like to know? I, I really enjoy talking about this kind of thing, so if you have questions about how snakes eat or other rad topics about reptiles or animals in general that you would like to know, ask me. Maybe I'll make a whole video. As always, like and subscribe, and we hope to see you real soon. Get one more of those for us before we stop. I have to get me some little treat frogs. I love them. I like your song, mister. So your chin is what makes you uniquely human, and I think it is what makes Jay Leno a superhuman. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'm at the end of my script. A little more. There we go.